around 2012, I traveled to Switzerland to learn about a non-surgical option called vacuum bell therapy. This had been popularized by Dr. Frank Martin Hecker in Switzerland, and um, he was kind enough to teach us how to use this therapy on pectus excavatum patients. We felt that it was important that the NUS Center at CHKD have a non-surgical option available for appropriate pectus excavatum patients. The vacuum bell is a low profile suction device that goes on the chest wall and this can often be fit underneath the patient's shirt so that they can go about their business, do their homework, watch TV, play video games. Over time we slowly increase the pressure and the duration of therapy until the patient achieves the best result they can possibly get. Our research and our recent publication demonstrate that vacuum bell therapy works best in patients that have milder defects, have flexible chest walls, and those are usually younger patients. Obviously, compliance with the device is extremely important, and we ask our patients to wear the vacuum bell from anywhere from two to four hours a day. Well, the patient needs to come to see us to determine whether or not they are an appropriate uh, vacuum bell candidate first. The patient will often be uh, examined and the bells are, come in different sizes so they'll need to be fitted and the pressure application is determined during the consultation. This is something that will require follow-up on a routine basis to optimize results as well. The most common side effect that we see with vacuum bell therapy is a little bruising on the chest wall. Essentially all patients have little to no complaints when the therapy is directed by a pediatric surgeon. Nearly 50% of patients will achieve a good to excellent result, but it is imperative that the patients come for a consultation to determine whether or not they are a good or excellent candidate for this non-operative therapy.